Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are from group 1 And we would like to explain about What is phonology and phonetics And now I would like to introduce myself first My name is Yasmin Emerald Haq And my friends Okay, let me start by explaining What is phonology and phonetics So, please enjoy our presentation What is phonology and phonetics? Phonology is the study of the parents of sounds in a language and across languages. Our phonology is the study of categorical organization of speech sounds in languages. How speech sounds are organized in the mind and used to convey meaning. Phonology is about the abstract aspect of sounds and studies the phonemes, phonemics, transcription and dog slice. So phonology can be interpreted as a study of how sounds are used or it can be defined as the study of sounds parent and sound function. And the next is about phonetics. What is phonetics? Phonetics is about the physical aspect of sounds. It studies the production and the perception of sounds called phones. Phonetics has some subcategories, but if not specific. We usually mean articulatory by the articulatory and vocal track by the speakers. So, phonetics is the study of how sounds are produced. In general, there is a flow of air that comes out of the lunch and is played by both nasal and molar articulation in the mouth with certain articulations, giving rise to several different sounds. An investigation of the physical properties of these sounds or their phonetics reveal some interesting facts which don't quite match with the ideas of the native speakers. In the case of the T sounds, we find that there are quite noticeable differences between the three. For most speakers of English, the T at the beginning of talk is accompanied by an audible outtrus of air, or a little like a very brief ha sounds known as aspiration. There is no such outtrus for the T in the talk which actually sounds quite like the D in duck and the T in cut is different yet again. It may not involve any opening of the modes or it may be accompanied by or even replaced by a stoppage of the air of the throat similar to a very quick cough like sounds known as a little stop. When we turn to the D sounds, The first thing to notice is that it's produced in a very similar way to the T sound for both T and we raise the front part of the tongue to the bony ridge behind the upper T to form a blockage to the passage of air out of the mouth. The difference between the sounds rests with the behavior of what are known as the vocal cords, which vibrate when we say D and don't vibrate for T. So that's all from me and the next speakers is Hairunisa Komara. Thank you Jasmine. The discrepancy between spelling and sounds gave rise to a movement of spelling reforms called orthopis. They want to revise the alphabet so that one letter would correspond so to one sounds and to one letter, those creating a phonetic alphabet to simplify spelling. And here's our phonetic alphabet. A, Alpha, B, Bravo, C, Charlie, D, Delta, E, Echo, F, Foxtrot, G, Golf, H, Hotel, I, India, J, Juliet, K, Kilo, L, Lima, M, Mike, N, 
November, O, Oscar, P, Papa, Q, Quebec, R, Romeo, S, Sierra, T, Tango, U, Uniform, V, Victor, W, Whiskey, X, X-Ray, Y, Yankee, and the last one, Z, Zulu. Next. Sound, spelling, and symbol. Spelling originated as a transcription of the sounds of spoken language according to the alphabetic principle. We know that there are 26 alphabet in English from A to Z. Spelling is related to the way to spell such a spell person's name. Example, Dimas. We spell it D I M L S. Dimas. Our study in phonetic is not focused on spelling, but on sounds and symbol. There are 44 sound symbol in English called International Phonetic Alphabet or IPA. And there are 44 sounds. The first one 12 vowels, the second one 24 consonant, and the third one 8 diphthongs. Next speaker is Linesha Konita. Okay, thank you, Harunisa. So I will explain about vowels. Vowel sounds. Vowel sounds are voiced sounds produced with a structure of open approximation without any obstructions, either partial or complete in the passage of air. Such a definitions can help us to distinguish vowels from consonants in which there is a partial of complete obstructions in the flow of air, but cannot help us to distinguish one vowel from another. So, sound in which the, fo the, fo the flow of air from the lungs passes through the mouth, which functions as a resonance chamber with minimal obstructions and without audible frictions. Vowel or vocal sounds has 12 sound symbols. They are E, ship, A, bed, E, cat, A, ship, L, teacher, A, up, O, good, O, bird, A, far, O, shoot, O, door, O, on. The next is diphthong sounds. Vowels produced as a result of such a grid are called diphthongs. Diphthongs are vowels during the articulations of which the tongue starts at the position of one vowel and then moves in the directions of the position of another vowel within the same syllables. So diphthongs might be a combination of vowel sounds. The first sound in each phoneme is longer and louder than the second. They are one, a, let, late, two, I, guy, three, oi, boy, four, ear, tear, five, air, care, six, u, tour, seven, al, co, eight, Oh, go. So the next speaker is Karenisa Kumara. Consonant sounds. Consonants can be described from three standpoints. The presence of absence of voicing 
or voice or voiceless, the manner articulation and the place of articulation. Here's a symbol. P, P, B, P, T, 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 D, D, K, K, G, G, F, 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 S, S, Z, M, M, N, N, T, H, H, T, E, L, T, R, R, T, U, W, T, 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 D, D, M, S, S, I, S, T, R, E, S, U, R, T, T, I, J, J, M, Y, Y, M, and the last one, Ang, S, I, N, G. So, in articulatory phonetic, a consonant is a speech sound that is articulated with complete or partial closure of the vocal tract. Example are P, pronounced with the lips, T, pronounced with the front of the tongue, K, pronounced with the back of the tongue, H, pronoun pronounced in the throat, F and S pronounced by forcing air through a narrow channel, and M, also N, which have air flowing through the nose. The sounds regarded as vowels are described in terms of their articulation and on the basis of auditory perception. While consonants are best described in terms of their articulation, vocal and consonant are usually understood with reference to the alphabet of a language, for instance, the letters A, E, Y, O, and U. In English, generally represent the vowel sounds of the language, and the, re and the rest of the alphabet usually represent the consonant sound. So the next speaker is Linisha. Okay, thank you, Linisha. Now I will explain about IPA symbols. IPA or International Phonetic Association is an organization that promotes the scientific study of phonetics and the various partial applications of the science. The IPA's major contribution to phonetic representation of all languages. IPA used to develop a phonetics alphabet to symbolize the sound of all languages. Some of IPA symbols are is that S, but S is thick. It's like ship, push, delicious. Next is Z, Z is thick, like rose. Vision. The next is cha, it's like church and watch. The next is jo, it's like church. And the last is u, put, book. That's all for me. And the summary is, in this presentation, we have set out to understand how phonology and phonetics interact over the course of phonetic change with the hope of broadening our knowledge of both sound change and the general relationship between phonology and phonetics. Some statements previous to studying this course, well, then the student will know how to produce sounds from speech organs. Know the words and basis in English, comprehending voice and voiceless, and also be able to read phonetics transcription in dictionary. There are a parts of sounds like vowels, diphthongs, and consonant. We noted that phonetics and phonology deal with many of the same things in another very real sense. However, 
phonetics and phonology are only accidentally related. Most human languages use the voice and vocal apparatus as their primary means of expression. Yet there are fully fledged human language with use a different means of expression or modality. Sign language, for example, British Sign Language, American Sign Language, Sign Language of Ner the Ner Netherlands, and many others. Primarily involve the use of manual rather than vocal gestures. Since these signs languages use modalities other than speaking and hearing to encode and decode human language, we need to keep phonetics the surface manifestation of spoken language, spread from phonology, the abstract system organizing the surface sounds and gestures. If we take this division seriously, we have to own the evidence of science language. We need to be careful to distinguish systematically between phonetics and phonology. So that's all from our group. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.